up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Alliance's Heroes. Alliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. Where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. That's right, and I love flying in because it's just incredible. Because one of my favorite parts of the show is the Experian Identity Report. That's right. That's where we speak with the world's leading experts about the game-changing technology and impact of identity and the need to use reliable data, really, to make confident decisions that safely accelerate customer engagement. That's what it's about. And today we have again with us Kevin Chen. He is the Senior Vice President and Chief Data Scientist for Experian Data Labs in North America. Now, the Experian Data Labs are at the forefront of the company's effort to scan the horizon for opportunities to disrupt and transform the business with data. Data is the key. So, Kevin, I'm fascinated by our topic today, and I really want to jump right into it and talk about the word that I'm hearing about identity graphs. Please explain what that is. Sure. Um, David, before we um, talk about identity graph, I think we need to talk about what is identity. The identity, the meaning of identity has evolved over time. So identity right now really is anything that can be used to identify you as a person, right? So for example, traditionally we have the so-called offline identity elements, such as name, address, social security number, and so on. But we also have online identity, uh, such as cookies, IP address, mobile advertising ID, your, your Twitter handles, and so on. Um, now there's also geo, uh, geolocation of your mobile, mobile phones and your biometrics and so on. All these information, some of them are very static and some of them are quite dynamic. And if we are able to bring those uh, identity information together, we'll then be able to identify a consumer and provide the appropriate service to a consumer. And that's why this identity information is very important. However, if you look at each of the identity info, uh, elements, such as a name and so on, it's not really sufficient enough to identify a person. For example, if you think about Kevin Chen, there's probably tens of thousands of uh, hundreds of thousands of Kevin Chen in the United States, right? And if you were to look at an address, let's say my address actually have four people in it, and apartment address probably have hundreds of people living it, you know, over the past ten years and so on. Um, and then if you look at the online activity, for me, I have multiple devices, I use multiple browsers, so there's so many different cookies that's associated with me. So it's really hard to just have one identity uh, element to point, pinpoint to a specific person. And the other thing is, therefore, we have to really try to bring multiple pieces of information together in order to figure out who the identity is. And the other, the other issue is um, uh, for the companies, when they gather the information about identity, depending on how they use the identity information for, they may gather different pieces of information, right? Sometimes for the financial type of information, they may gather your uh, name, address, and social security number. But for say CRM related information, they probably focus more on the phone number, email, and so on. So this identity graph is really trying to bring everything together, trying to create a 360 degree single view of a customers uh, so that the business can act on it uh, no matter where, you, where your information come from. Got it, great. Give us an example though too of how it helps to project people and businesses, how the, how to, how to, you know, how that works. How that works. Uh, so, um, so our, so let's talk about Experian Identity Solution. Uh, Experian Identity Solution, uh, what we call a same identity platform. Uh, the core of it is this identity graph that we just discussed, right? So um, our identity graph is based on billions of uh, consumer records that we gather from many authoritative data sources that we collect across business units, uh, plus some very trustworthy third-party data so that we can stitch together this uh, 360 degree view that I mentioned earlier. So how that works is whenever uh, a business that are interested 
in learning the identity of their consumer, they can send us uh, their inf the, the consumer's information, which could be a simple combination of all those identity elements that I mentioned earlier, whether it's address, email, name, phone number, and so on. Send us through real time, through API, and then we'll be able to resolve this identity and return back to you uh, whether we have seen this consumer or not, and how confident we have seen, how confident we are about this, uh, this matches uh, in, in, in real time. So the business can make decisions, okay? Um, and the other benefit of this identity platform that we develop is that because we provide this confidence score. So really it depends on what you use this uh, information for. For example, if you were to make a lending decision, you wanted to be very certain about this identity. So you can make sure that uh, you only accept this identity if the confidence score is very high. However, if you were to do marketing, you're trying to reach out to mass majority of the people as much as possible. Then you will probably lower the confidence of the identity, trying to reach out to the people as much. Um, so that's how usually this identity graph works. Excellent, excellent. And again, we have with us Kevin Chen, Senior Vice President and Chief Data Scientist for Experian Data Labs in North America. You can reach him at Experian.com because you're listening and watching me. That's right, host of the Alliances Hero Show. So you know the only place to go is Alliances.com. So go after the radio show here and podcast to Alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. So Kevin, this is great. And again, extremely innovative. How did though Experian come up with this whole innovation part? Well, Experian really pays great attention to our customers. Um, as our customers uh, start, uh, continue to engage with their um, consumers, uh, increasingly in, in diverse channels, they realize they really need to have a single consolidated view of the consumer across the channel. So they can off offer the service in this omni-channel uh, sense. And, um, they also realized that they wanted to be able to identify the consumers uh, with very small subset of identity information, uh, you know, whether it's name, address, phone number, and so on, so that they can reduce the friction when they interact with the consumer. And uh, we also, you know, experience as a business, we actually have a, a, a large business in the fraud detection side. Uh, we, know, we, we know that we need to constantly look for ways to uh, bring our um, uh, knowledge about the uh, consumer's identity. So that's why we wanted to build this identity solution. And we realized that we need to have this holistic solution in order to encompass all the, uh, all the problems I just described to you. Um, when we started our project, um, we know that the identity information across the experience is actually quite fragmented and siloed, just as many other businesses, right? And we also know that uh, in the experience, although we have very solid ways of identifying the consumer within each business unit, but each solution is very different from each other. And they cannot really uh, easily be generalized to tackle the problems that I mentioned earlier. Therefore, our lab, when we approached this problem, we decided to take a very holistic view. And then we started to bring in machine learning, uh, trying to figure out how we can consolidate all those information together to come up with a single solution uh, so that we can handle any kind of data sources that come into uh, experience for identity resolution uh, and also any kind of combination of identity elements that's been provided by our customers. And lastly, we also have uh, paid great attention about uh, regulatory con constraint, right? Because depending on how you use this solution for, there's certain data sources you may not be able to use, whether it's due to regulate uh, regulation or it's due to um, consumer uh, uh, contrast with the, uh, the clients. So this identity graph that you and I just talked about earlier actually allow us to uh, very flexibly to uh, remove certain data sources from the participation of this resolution of the identity. Fantastic. Boy, Kevin, you're a wealth of information. You definitely know your stuff. And I really appreciate the time that you've taken out today to come and to share this information. Once again, you've been listening and watching David Coates, and that's the host of the Alliance radio show and podcast. So make sure you go to alliances.com. 
Thank you again to Kevin Chen, Senior VP and Chief Data Scientist for Experian Data Labs in North America. Make sure that you go to Experian.com, E-X-P-I-R, sorry, E-X-P-E-R-I-A-N.com. Once again, that's Experian, E-X-P-E-R-I-A-N.com. Thank you so much again, Kevin. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone.